It's harvest time in Great Britain, and it's a whole new crop for some UK doctors. A new pro-life law in Arizona has the unborn leaping for joy. And as promised, the gates of hell shall not prevail, according to the Vatican's official newspaper. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Britain's organ harvest, keeping people with brain damage alive, specifically to harvest their organs, is being seriously considered by Britain's National Health Service as a regular practice. The country is weighing whether or not to begin regulating the practice of elective ventilation, which puts a patient close to death on a ventilator with the premeditated intention of harvesting their organs once, quote, brainstem death is established. One proposal considers giving the 19 million people in the organ donation registry preferential treatment in obtaining an organ if they need it. Catholic ethicists continue debating, as they have for decades, on whether or not determination of brain death is legitimately scientific criterion or a legal straw man for investing organs from a patient before they are dead. Spain tightens abortion laws. Spain's newly elected conservative government, the Popular Party, is staying true to their campaign promise by changing a pre-existing abortion law. The current law, which allows abortions to take place in the first 14 weeks of pregnancy and up to the 22nd week if the mother is at risk or the child shows serious deformities, was implemented in 2010 at the request of the socialist government. Conservative Justice Minister Alberto Gallardon says he will ask Parliament to change the existing law, barring Spain from killing children who have deformities and mandating parental permission in cases where 16 and 17 year olds want to end pregnancies. Although the administration won in a landslide, polls show the move to change the abortion law has been characterized as unpopular, even among conservatives. Arizona abortion ban stands. A new law banning abortion in Arizona is poised to go into effect despite lawsuits challenging its constitutionality. After Governor Jan Brewer signed the law in April, pro-death abortion groups requested District Judge James Tailborg to consider temporarily blocking the new legislation. The New York-based Center for Reproductive Rights says it will appeal their case against the law, set to take effect later this week, even after the judge complimented the state, saying it provided, quote, substantial and well-documented evidence that the unborn feel pain at 20 weeks of pregnancy. The law continues to run the legal gauntlet as pro-death groups promise to take it to court again, but if it stands, Arizona will be the 10th state to ban abortion after 20 weeks, a law that so far has never been blocked by the courts. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Apple Temptation. Yes? There's even an app for that. A new trend shows Irish priests are using their iPads for mass instead of the Roman Missal, despite its prohibition by some bishops. The popular device made by computer giant Apple is being used by a growing number of priests during the liturgy, although bishops from New Zealand have stated that its use is forbidden during Holy Mass. A letter penned in April, signed by all New Zealand bishops and sent to priests, reminded them that all religions have specific books reserved for rituals central to their faith, and the Roman Missal is one of those books. The letter points out that iPads and other devices can be used for a variety of things like playing games, surfing the web, watching videos, and checking email. However, because of these secular uses for the iPad, the bishops are declaring that, quote, this alone makes their use in the liturgy inappropriate. Questioning Contraception Campaign Osservatore Romano is blasting Melinda Gates' recently launched campaign to distribute contraceptives to the women of Africa. The Vatican's newspaper called the Gates Initiative, quote, an unfounded and second-rate understanding of the issue, also stating that Gates is apparently unaware of the reliability of the Billings ovulation method, a safe and completely free family planning method. 
This method, which is endorsed by the Catholic Church when used to avoid children for serious reasons, has no adverse health effects, unlike the contraceptive drugs that Mrs. Gates offers. The newspaper is the Vatican's semi-official tabloid and will soon have an English edition to be published by our Sunday Visitor, one of the largest Catholic publishers in America. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here at churchmilitant.tv. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael continues to tell us about the suffering of Romanian Catholics in communist prisons. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We are now ChurchMilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. ChurchMilitant.tv. Join us in combat. Become a premium member today.